Hello everyone, Michelangelo Mortolero with Mortolero Law. Today is another video in our caregiver support series and it will be discussing caregiver guilt. Anybody who's been a caregiver for any length of time knows that there are multiple layers of guilt across the entire spectrum of caregiving. But today I wanna to focus on one that we see in the firm pretty much on a daily basis. And that is caregiver guilt over making the decision to move your loved one into an assisted living or a memory care facility. Oftentimes, you know, people have the conversation with their spouse or their parents that, you know, I love you and I'll never put you in a home. And I think in their mind, uh, the home, as they call it, is a, is a terrible place for people that don't love their family members that you stuff them away when you don't want to deal with them. And in the past, that might have been true. You know, 30, 40 years ago, the home may have been a very bad place. But these days, um, assisted living and especially memory care facilities can be a wonderful place for your family member to live. And it takes a little bit to wrap your head around the concept, but I explain it to my clients as follows. When you're a 24-7 caregiver, whether it's a spouse or a parent or a sibling or even just a friend, the caregiver experiences another phenomenon that we all know about known as caregiver burnout. That caregiver burnout comes from often lack of sleep, emotional stress, financial stress, physical stress, all of those things that we deal with as caregivers that are unrelenting and they're 24-7, 365 with no breaks. And eventually the caregiver breaks down physically and emotionally through lack of sleep, um, you know, the repetition of sometimes communicating with someone that has dementia that asks you the same question 50 times in a row, and, and we get frustrated. It's just human nature. We get frustrated, our fuse gets shorter, and we end up snapping at the person that we love that we're trying to care for. And, and that's frustrating. That entire process is frustrating. Now imagine putting yourself in the shoes of someone with dementia and this person who you know, you're depending on for support, in your mind, you don't see that you're doing anything wrong. You don't see that you're being annoying. And all of a sudden, you know, all of your interaction with this person is very short fused, very snappy. They're yelling at you. They're barking orders at you. You know, it, it's not a great place to be. And it can be quite scary for someone that has dementia to be dealing with that communication style. So I tell my family members who are caregivers, as much as you are resistant to the idea of finding an appropriate facility because you made that promise to never put them in the home, it may be the best thing that you can do. And your interactions typically with your loved one after they move into a facility are going to be better. You can show up to the facility with a good night's sleep without having to do all of the cleanup and the mess picking up and all of the things that caregivers deal with on a 24 seven basis. And as I put it, you can just show up and love them. Your interactions will be better. You're more rested. You're not frustrated. The way you communicate with your loved one will be much more soft in nature. It'll be more loving and they get to see you and they get to just be loved, which is really what they need at this stage in their life. Secondly, the quality of life for people living in facilities can often be better. And caregivers, don't take this the wrong way. You do a wonderful job and you do the best that you can. And, and you, in our minds, there's no one that can love our, our parents or our spouse more than we can. And, and to a certain extent, you're probably right. However, when you're in a facility and you have a, uh, let's say a cognitive challenge, you're in a facility that is designed and built from the ground up to foster a nurturing environment for people that have memory care issues. There are activities. Their employees are trained on things like redirection to kind of get you to do maybe what you don't want to do without uh, barking orders or, or getting stern with you. And there's also other people there to interact with. What we see is a lot of times our dementia clients all they want to do is either sleep all day or they want to just be in their favorite recliner and watch TV for you know whatever hours of the day they're awake. And that doesn't do well for them. Uh, emotionally, psychologically, 
there's no stimulation, there's no interaction with other people, and the interaction they may have is with a short-fused caregiver who loves them, but is really just out of gas. So it really can be a win-win. It can be a win-win from the caregiver's perspective of that you just get to go and love your, your, your person, and it can be a win-win for the person who's in the facility who is in an environment that is designed to nurture their needs, to give them emotional stimulation, physical stimulation, interaction with other people. And then when they do get to see their family members, their family members just come and love on them. So keep that in mind. I know that no one ever wants to make the move and everybody procrastinates. But if I had a dollar for every time that a client came back to me after uh, the dust has settled on moving their loved one into a community, 99% of the time they come back and say, I wish I would have done it sooner. Mom and dad or my spouse, they're so happy there. I love that I can get a good night's sleep and I can still go see them every single day if that's what your, your schedule permits. But when you go to see them, it's a more positive interaction and it's really better for everyone. So I hope this helps. And, and if you're having that guilt, you know, feel free to, to post in our Facebook group and, and get other people's experience. And I know Taylor can certainly uh, attest to the fact that making the move when it's the right move at the right time can really be the best decision. So I hope this helps. Everybody have a great day and stay safe. Bye-bye.